Hi, I thought I would share with you one of the top three questions that I'm asked as a business owner. Now, there are a number of questions, clearly three, that I'm asked a lot as a business owner, but today I'm gonna to share one of those with you, and this is it. How do I know that I'm hiring the right person? So, so many of my mentoring clients who are other business owners are perhaps at the stage of growth in their business where they need to hire somebody. Now, it might be right at the micro level, so hiring a virtual assistant to support them with the tasks they need to do in their business. Or it might be hiring a very part-time administrative assistant. Or it might be right at the other end of the spectrum hiring a chief operating officer, hiring a second in command, hiring a managing director. So the number one question, how do I know if I'm hiring the right person? Bottom line, it's like any relationship. You don't. You don't. When you meet someone and start a social engagement with them and embark upon a friendship with them, you've got no way of knowing how it's going to turn out, right? You trust, you share a little, you share a little more, you keep sharing, and before you know it, you've got a great relationship. When you enter into an intimate partnership, someone who's potentially going to be your life partner, it starts out simple, it starts out small, and eventually you make that decision that you're going to be together forever. Even then you still don't know, right? My husband and I, I tell you a secret, my husband and I, when we got married, even on the day of our wedding, we were saying, let's take it a day at a time and see how it works out. Nearly 30 years later, we're doing okay. So when it comes to hiring, there is a little bit of a difference, of course, because you're making a decision based on very limited information. You're hiring a person, you're signing a contract with them, you're handing them money to do a job. And the job could probably be done by any number of people. So what I want you to focus on is the relationship. Do you feel in that inner, that quiet voice that's helping you, that's guiding you, that's showing you your wisdom, is that voice saying, hell yes, go for it? Or is that voice saying, what the hell are you doing? Because sometimes we can be bedazzled by CVs, right? I'm much more of a fan of cover letters than CVs, but you know, sometimes a CV can be really impressive and it can distract us from that inner wisdom voice. So make sure you're listening with all your ears to that inner wisdom voice and just focus on the relationship that you are going to be embarking upon with this person. Is it a relationship that you feel is going to work out? Because there's a lovely saying, which I really, really like, which is simply that you should hire for attitude because skills can be taught later. So there you go. Number one question I am asked. Well, one of the top three, I won't say it's the number one, one of the top three questions that I'm asked as a business owner, how do I know if I'm hiring the right person? Basic answer, you don't. You have to place a lot of faith in your own instincts, a lot of faith in the relationship that you're building with this person. But listen to that wise voice, because we've all got one. If it's telling you to be cautious, if it's telling you to stay clear, then maybe you really need to listen to that. But at the end of the day, we never know how working relationships are going to work out. We never know how people's behavior is going to play out in the workplace. We have to take a leap of faith. And there's my answer for you today. Bye for now.